Perry, that's uh, one of our contributors on Play By Here. He's going to do an advanced lesson, uh, Ultimate Runs. And this is a run for that will work on your 7, 3, 6, and D flat. So if you know your circle of fourths in D flat, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. He's going to give you a nice run that goes with this. Memorize this. It's awesome. All right, go ahead. So go ahead and play it with full speed here. Mm -hmm. Okay, do it in context when you're playing the chord and you do that run with it. Okay, do it at full speed. Then to the B flat. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, so let's so let's uh, do the the voicing that you did in the left hand. And then we'll show the uh, chord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's the E, the B flat, and the D flat. Just a uh, F dominant, uh, E flat, A, and C. Okay. Uh -huh. So now. For the sixth chord, he, you notice he used the same one we did, but just a different inversion. He used F for this pinky, and then C and D flat. All right? So that's just another voicing of your 736. The normal one we use will also work. All right? Now, one note at a time, do that scale that you did. F sharp, F, E flat, D flat, C, B flat, A, F sharp, F, E flat, D flat, C, B flat. They are all the way down. See how it keeps repeating itself? And another way to think of it, it's still the D flat major scale or the B flat minor scale, except instead of the B, uh, the, instead of the A flat, you use the A, right? And that's because when you're doing the, the big three, the F, you can use that A. That's why you would use that A in there instead of uh, your D flat scale, right? Because in your F, which is your three chord, you use that A. So that makes it legal and it gives it a nice twist to your D flat major scale or your B flat minor scale. All right, go ahead and do a little bit more and throw that in there again. And we'll be finished. Listen to your church, and it ain't rocket science. Don't just play, understand.